in this enthusiastic times of make in india it is the manufacturing sector that makes the most interesting case to be studied one such manufacturing company is siroco and we are going to study its supply chain management we are at our manufacturing facility which we will visit soon we manufacture electronic cables and cords for example our cctv cable usb cable speaker cable and many more siroco was founded in december 2012 and it has been growing ever since we believe that our hard work will be the most trusted brand in the country we know that there are five stakeholders in a supply chain which starts with a supplier which in our case are those that provide plastic pellets and copper wires followed by the manufacturer in our case it's siroco followed by its distributors then retailers and then finally reaching to consumers once the product leaves from siroco facility various brand names are attached to it and then that product is sold in the markets due to the privacy clauses we are not allowed to tell about those brand names and hence our journey will continue till the exit from siroco facilities siroco means being at the right place so we are located in bhiwadi rajasthan the rico industrial area producing the right product such as our cctv cable selling our products at every price range without compromising the quality of the product such that it reaches our customers at the right time this is possible because of our perfect procurement leading to the perfect production perfect perfect distribution and perfect transportation this facilitates our selling process and eases the business for our customers under the facility driver Let's look at its location. It is located in Bhiwadi, an industrial area of Rajasthan. Having its manufacturing over here gives them the benefit of easy access to their suppliers, customers and road transport. Another aspect of this facility driver is their office. And it is where all the supporting functions and other departments such as finances and human resources function. in order to support the manufacturing Now coming to the last aspect of the facility driver the warehouse This is a place where they stack the raw materials that come in each day. The room is quite airy, amply illuminated and located on the ground floor. They do have CCTV cameras that keep vigil over this treasure. Moving on to the second supply chain logistic driver, the inventory. We saw the stock of plastic pellets in the warehouse. Now this is a stock of copper wires. Since this is an expensive raw material it needs to be secured dearly and hence is stacked on shelves which are coded according to the diameter and density of the copper wires. This room is fortified with heavy steel doors and there is a constant vigil of CCTV cameras. The waste copper coils and PVC strings are stored in gunny sacks and then sold to recycling plants. And this is the stock of finished products. Here the finished products are packed, boxed and stacked inside such trucks which carry them to the distributors. If transportation fees are being paid by Siroco, then consignment is set once in 3 to 4 days. While if they are paid by the distributor, then the material is sent as soon as it is produced, thus reducing the holding cost. When asked about his supply and demand uncertainty, Kanishk had to say the following about his first cross-functional driver, sourcing. local suppliers within 5 to 10 km of our facility they keep a stock of extra inventory so that they can supply the raw material as required this helps us to deal with any demand uncertainties and our inventory holding cost also comes down heavily since the raw materials of all products are pretty much common 
So a sudden drop in demand of a certain product, we use its spare inventory to carry on with the production of our in-demand products. The next cross-functional driver is that of information. Sirocco maintains modern software to keep track of their inventories. Moreover, they also have a laboratory that tests their products before going to mass production. It helps them maintain their quality and also be responsive to the custom-made product demands. With that, we come to the point where we need to witness the most interesting part of this manufacturing company its production process. Firstly, the copper wires are coated with molten PVC and then they are drawn through a long bath of water. At the other end of this machine, the diameter of the incoming wires are recorded and this is how the first stage is completed. For the second stage, couple of such wires which are color coded according to their specifications are collected and twisted together and then they are enclosed in an insulator. This is how we come to our step 2. Now, for the last part of the entire process, this group of wires is coated with another layer of a flexible PVC called as sheath and this process is called as sheathing. Kanishk told us that PVC used in the wiring inside and the PVC used on the outside are of different types and the one that is inside is stronger and sturdier for obvious reasons. And finally, the packaging. The packaging is done in two steps. Firstly, the rolling of wires into rolls and then packaging with plastic over these rolls. When this is done, these rolls are boxed in a cardboard and sent to the distributor via the trucks. We have a very wide range of products here. Some of them are always in demand and some of them are made on order only. Thus, we keep a blend of cost effectiveness and responsiveness in our operations. Since we are in a growth stage right now, we are cur currently concentrating on being responsive. We still haven't reached a size where we can exploit the economies of scale. 